Hey there, welcome to another edition of On the Road with Joe, home edition. No, so I'm in my lovely hometown of Tigard, Oregon, uh, and we're getting ready to do something really, really fun today. Uh, it's a video I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. Hopefully you watched my earlier video on why I believe produce cuttings are very important and what I think the value that they bring to the customer is. Today we're actually gonna show you how to do it. Without further ado, here we go. All right, so here I am now at a local uh, area uh, restaurant supply store. I'm gonna run on in and we're gonna get ourselves a case of romaine and we're gonna come on out and we're gonna get ready to cut. All right, so we've got the Packer product picked up. We've got it loaded in the car and now we're gonna head to Cisco Portland and do that cutting. All right. We're upstairs here at Cisco Portland. We are. My, my, here's my good friend, Randy Garrig, the produce manager with Cisco. Close personal friend. <laughs> and Randy was kind enough to let us use his kitchen and uh, chef, chef's not here right now, but uh, we're excited to get going. Randy, how are things going here at Portland? Things are going really well in Portland. It's a beautiful day outside. We're kind of waiting for winter to hit. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's <laughs> yeah. gonna stay a long, long fall and summer's gonna be bad. There you go. I love it, before you know it. Well, listen, we're getting ready to cut. Randy, thank you very, very much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. And here we go. Sell some produce. <laughs> Indeed. So, we're going to do a cutting today. The most important part of the cutting is you want to make sure that you've got branded product, okay? Uh, brand is the whole sell. Brand is the reason that we're out there. Brand is the reason that we're trying to convince people to go with us. Uh, occasionally, Opcos will have what we call Packer product and that just happens because for some reason the product didn't make the spec. It still is in many, many cases, the top of the line produce that's available. It just didn't make the very difficult Cisco standards. All right, so here we're gonna start with our cutting, right? We're gonna start with the commodity product, the Packer product. I got that over at a restaurant supply store today, and we're gonna go with the Cisco natural product right here. Off the top, the first thing that you see with this product right here, there is no liner, okay? This product is just pushed against the cardboard, uh, it's going to have no protection from the elements, uh, depending on where this product is getting shipped. For those of you in the East Coast, this is going to sit for five, six days on a truck, and it's going to be evaporating, dehydrating, and you're going to be losing a lot of uh, valuable uh, uh, weight and uh, end product. The uh, difficulty in, in dealing with a product like this, you're going to pay less most cases, but you're going to end up with much less usable product at the end. Whereas Cisco, there may be a little bit of sticker shock at the beginning, but I've done 40 cuttings or so this year, and I've won every for all of them, all 40 of them. And uh, the reason is because of the standards and the specs that Cisco has. So take a look at this product. It's got its liner in there, all wrapped up, all ready to go. So the first thing you want to do when you have a uh, are going to be performing your cutting, is you want to make sure you have your pan, your gloves, your knife, your board, and your scale. Okay? We want to get this scale teared out down to zero because if we get the scale teared to zero, then we'd be comparing apples to apples. So we're gonna cut the Cisco product first. I always like to cut the Cisco first because then when we cut the competitor's product, we can see that big disparaging gap and we can really uh, in enforce upon the customer how important and how, uh, how well Cisco performed. All right, so we're gonna pick four heads out of here, really at random, put them in the pan. As I said, it was teared out. So we're gonna extrapolate this information and it'll be coming across your board, uh, or across your screen, I should say. We're gonna take four heads out. We're gonna multiply it by six, okay? So the first set here is four point five pounds. So times six, that's gonna be 27 pounds is what we've got that box weighing right now. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to trim the product up to determine how much waste that there is. So typically Cisco specs call for between one to three pieces, uh, outer leaves that are uh, of waste. We're going to go ahead and visually inspect the product. There is maybe one. I'm going to take off one just because, but honestly, that's a great leaf right there. Uh, this had fallen off from before and now uh, I don't know how many of you have been back there while your customers are cutting. I would presume a lot of you. A lot of times you're going to see people just take a knife and whack, whack, da 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 da. 
uh, oftentimes those people are poorly trained, uh, they're uh, uh, minimum wage employees, and they really just want to get done. They look at doing this job as a, uh, a penalty almost. I don't know too many people that I've called on, and I've made several calls in my year, actually enjoy doing this work right here, right? So here's how I cut my romaine at home and how I would advise you to train your customers to do so. Even though uh, it may seem a little bit slower, it's definitely going to get them the better uh, the uh, the better yield. That's what I meant to say. So you take the romaine, you take the knife, you lay the romaine as such. You take the knife and you want to cut right down the middle, okay? Thereby showing you your core. That's all you want to cut out right there is your core, okay? It's about an inch and a half long, I would guess. I believe that that's what the Cisco spec is. Uh, so we're going to take it now, cut a little bit this way, cut a little bit that way. Boom, your core is removed. And here's all your usable product. We're going to set this to the side because we're really only weighing the waste right now. So out of that one head of romaine, that's all we had for waste. Pretty remarkable. So we're gonna go through and do the rest of these really, really quick. Again, visually inspecting the outer leaves. Honestly, this is some of the best romaine I've seen in a long time, maybe two leaves. Uh, you know, a lot of that weight that you're gonna have in your romaine is on those outer leaves. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove as few of those as possible. I think oftentimes we'll be with our customers and they'll just start tearing off leaves like crazy. They get down to that nice yellow section in there, that nice lighter green section. And, and that's great, and that looks great on a plate, but the yield just goes out the window. And again, this is a great opportunity for you to be that consultant and to show your customer that you are that produce expert. You know, you're going against produce companies, you're going against other uh, broadliners, and I guarantee they're not taking the time that I'm suggesting you take, and I think that that makes a huge difference. So, we take the knife, we cut again, we go down, again we've got our core, we cut the core out, we cut the core out, and we're going to get there real quick, I promise. So we got one leaf here, see that leaf, although I don't know about that, we're going to cut it again. Got the tiny, tiny core out of there. Probably the smallest core I've seen in a long time. This product is absolutely gorgeous. Your customers are gonna love it. Last piece here. there on the end that happens some a little bit of rust in there happens sometimes so again one thing I said before is please notice the color of the butts the rust on the butts it's pretty significant uh, you're looking at uh, you're looking at product on the right uh, this actually probably doesn't show up as well as I think it looks over here this is about two days older I would guess and again you're talking about two days might not sound like a big deal, but everything that we're looking for is trying to maximize shelf life and to get the customers the best, cleanest product that they could possibly get. So remember, we were at four and a half pounds of raw product to start with for the four, for the four units, and now we've got waste that is 1.25 pounds, okay? So that's very important to remember. We should be writing this down somewhere and we'll be having the data for you at the end of the uh, at the end of the cutting. So now we take our product, we're all done with the uh, Cisco product, we're gonna take it and discard it, and then we're gonna come back with the Packer product in just a minute. All right, so now we're gonna cut the Packer product. One thing I want you to take a look at is how many wrapper leaves and the condition of the wrapper leaves compared to the Cisco product. So I know uh, this might be a little bit hard to believe, but we've got a, a leaf here, it's got a bunch of translucency, a bunch of damage. This product is considerably wetter, um, and that's just because of the condensation, not having the wrapper around it, and, and not just being in the greatest shape. Actually, what I want to do first is I want to weigh the first four heads and get that number. Four point five pounds, just like the Cisco product. So we're now going to go through and take the, the leaves off and see how we come out on this deal. 
So you see there's a lot of red and a lot of rust on here. That's indicative of age. Uh, so a lot of damage to the outer leaves. Again, you don't have the liner in the box. That's going to happen. Um, got one here that's got a lot of discoloration. We've got a lot of deep discoloration here on this head particularly. Uh, I'm going to take this one too. Okay. All right. So we're gonna throw these leaves in here. Now we're gonna cut it the same exact way that we cut the Cisco product earlier, right down the middle. Got some internal damage there. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's quite a bit of browning on the inside there. And that'll happen from time to time. Uh, we're gonna cut that out. And there we go, we're usable product here. I've got some damage up here that I couldn't see with the way that the leaf was before, but we're, uh, we'll, we'll pick that out. And again, typically your customers are not going to be as careful as this. They're just gonna go through and they're gonna tear through the product. Um, rather than throwing this whole leaf away, I'm just gonna kinda tear this little piece out. I am interested in trying to get the most truest and fairest yield that there is. Uh, again with this, we've got damaged outer leaves. Uh, you can see all the product right there. See how it's right against the rib right there? What that means is that was pressed up against the box. And again, the way that it was riding and the way that it was rubbing, that damaged that entire leaf. How nice would that leaf be to be able to cut and put in the salad? Very nice. At any rate, it's gonna be in waste now. And again, the outer leaves are where all that weight is. Got a lot of damage here on the inside. I'm gonna take this piece off as well. Uh, other than that, got some damage here as well. Um, and now we're gonna give it a cut. I will say their uh, cores have been pretty decent compared to the Cisco's, maybe just a little bit bigger, but uh, not crazy huge like I've seen before. So this is all waste product here, and this is the it's a, this is a terrible head of romaine, sadly. Um, but again, this is you get what you pay for in a way, and you get. Um, you know, people are against, let's say, using a broadliner such as Cisco uh, because they don't think that they know produce. One statement that I use in my trainings around the country, if you were to take the Cisco facility that sells the, the produce uh, department out of the Cisco and put it down as its own produce company, in most cities, it would be the biggest produce company in that city. It's just hidden because Cisco is such a huge company and they sell so many other commodities. Uh, the use of experience with Cisco is off the charts. Here in Portland alone, you've got over 40 years of produce experience between the two people. That doesn't even count throwing Troy Thomas, the uh, senior director that works out of this office. It'd be over 60 years of produce experience. And I know because he used to unload the truck that I used to deliver <laughs> back in the olden days. At any rate, uh, we're trying our best to cut apples to apples, uh, but this product is clearly not in the league of Cisco. So we've got this leaf right there. Look at that limp terrible leaf of lettuce and just garbage um, and these are what your customers are getting you know one of the big challenges is as a salesperson is you're going to a customer and you're saying okay look my lettuce is five dollars more seven dollars more ten dollars more two dollars more one dollar more whatever it is they will almost always take that cheaper product it's up to us to get in front of them show them a video like this or, or do the actual physical cutting in their in their presence and show them how we're gonna plate 10 more salads, 15 more salads, 20 more salads, and those are real dollars on their table. That's really gonna make a huge difference for them. Okay, we continue to cut this. Looks pretty good on the inside. A Little bit of a bigger core than what we had with the Cisco product, but not terrible. And here's our last leaf, and I can already see a ton of problems with this one. Right, you've got just an inordinate amount of waste and unusable lettuce leaves. Um, Boy, this one's rough. Let's see. And I'm gonna have to probably cut a oh boy. I'm gonna have to cut across the top now because there's a ton of damage up top. And you can even see right in here, I don't know how well you can see it, but you've got rust and damage in there as well. Try to cut it out. Now a lot of times customers will just sacrifice and then we'll go ahead and throw that product in the salad, hoping you don't see it, maybe put enough ranch dressing on it, no one will notice. Um, Cisco doesn't worry about that, right? Their product is done in such a way that, uh, or the, the specs make it such a way that you're not going to need to do that. That product's gonna be top shelf all year long. One of the things I love about Cisco, man, that's one heck of a core there too. Look at how big that core is, that thing is huge. And again, that's a lot of weight. The bigger the core, the more the weight, the more the weight, the more the waste. 
We're going to cut that out as best we can. That, my friends, is a big core of romaine. And here's our last piece here. There's a lot of rust down here at the bottom. We'll try to cut it out. You can see right there on that leaf. And that's a lot of weight right there, right? I'm going to have to cut that out. The reason, I like, oops, the reason I like doing these things is because it's real life. We're actually showing you the real numbers. I'm not just coming to you with numbers and saying, oh, I did a cutting, you know, without a video going or whatever. Here's what we did right in front of you. Hopefully you're showing this to your customers. I think this would be great for them to see as well. So the amount of waste, you're at two, two pounds, 2.25 pounds. Cisco was 1.25 pounds. So we're gonna have an actual six pounds more product from the Cisco box than from the competitor's box. Okay, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna stop right here, we're gonna to go to the whiteboard. So here we are to tally up the findings. So obviously we did card romaine today. We use Cisco product versus restaurant supply store or produce company, right? If you're dealing with a customer who's getting, uh, say, daily delivery or multiple week delivery from a, a regular produce company, we're certainly fine to cut against that product as well. Uh, for today's uh, needs, I went ahead and picked it up at a local restaurant supply store. So their product cost is $20.54 today. The Cisco price on the same product is $30.59. Now that's with you making 15% over sales costs. So that's a $10.05 difference. I doubt very many of you have a relationship good enough with any of your customers to say my romaine is $10.05 more, you should buy it from me. But I would say if you were to get your produce manager out of their office, your produce manager into their car, you know, your produce manager in front of your customer, your produce manager in most cases has forgotten more about produce than most of us know, right? And certainly your customers. Again, that's you being the expert. I wonder the last time any of your competitors brought one of their commodity specialists, be it for protein or for non-foods or for chemicals or produce in front of their customer. Again, that's you building that value as that consultant. If you get that person into the car with you, if you were in Portland, for instance, where I am today, you would bring Randy with you. And Randy would then be able to help you explain why that $10 difference matters. That $10 difference matters because you're going to provide them a lot more value, as you hopefully saw while we were performing the cutting. So, 4.5 pounds is what the Cisco product weighed. When we weighed the four heads, we multiply that by six, we come out with 27 pounds of product. Same with the competitors, 4.5 times 6, 27 pounds. Here's where the difference came in. And I promise you, you saw it on video. I cut that product as closely as I possibly could. We had 1.25 pounds of waste on the Cisco product. That gave us 7.5 pounds of waste. If you extrapolate that over the full case, on the competitors, they were a full pound more for, six K, or for four heads, which takes them to 13.5 pounds. Fully half that bought product is waste. Now the big challenge is, their romaine, $10 cheaper, their romaine box looks exactly like your romaine box except for the wording on the outside, but it's what inside, it's what is inside that makes the difference. Okay, so they had 13 and a half usable pounds, you had 19 and a half usable pounds. I'll give you one guess who's gonna win this cutting right now. And you're right, it's you. Uh, usable ounces, this is, we always wanna break things down to ounces. Breaking things down to ounces talks to the customer in a language that they can understand. We want to talk about an ounces or servings. So we had 312 ounces on the Cisco product, 216 ounces on the competitor's product. Almost a full 100 ounces. That's a significant amount of product. Uh, for a three ounce side salad, since we're talking about romaine, typically an iceberg, that's a four ounce side salad. If you were doing an iceberg cutting, I'd encourage you to use four ounces right there. We had 72 salads for the competitor, 104 for us, okay? That gives us a revenue at $2.99 a salad. That gives us revenue of $310.96 out of our box of romaine. And out of the competitor's box of romaine, they're getting $215.28. Now, what does that mean to you? Difference. Cisco generated $95.32 more in sales. That's a huge number. That's a number that makes me say, wow. So get out there, utilize all that talent in your produce department, get in front of your customers, hit your suppliers up for samples, 
I'd be happy to send you as many samples as you all needed. I want you to get the word out. You guys should be winning every cutting that you put yourself out there to try and do. My email will flash across the bottom here. Email me at any time. Let me know if there's any way I could possibly help. Get out there and earn it. Thanks again for watching another episode of On the Road with Joe. Have a great day.